Hi, I'm Nick for Robotic Bean, here to bring you some of the highlights of the new features in Step Note Recorder version 1.0.1. Do you ever wish that you could record ties while step recording? Well, now you can. Just overlap the notes while playing, and ties are added automatically. If you find yourself recording ties by accident, you can also easily disable this feature by clicking on the off button during recording. Ties also carry over when you record notes from another device using the CV and gate inputs on a combinator. For example, a random sequence from a matrix. We've added a couple of new CV connections as well. By sending a signal to the tie CV input, you can force the current note to be tied into the next note. You can use this to make sure that two instances of step always tie at the same time. Or why not get creative and use another device to trigger the ties, such as a Euclid rhythm generator. Using the position CV input, you can take complete control over steps playhead. If you connect it to the position output of another step, they will always play in tandem, regardless of the playback direction. You can even set them to different resolutions. All through CV connections of step now double as outputs when nothing is connected to their corresponding inputs. Clock out will generate clock pulses based on the gate width and shuffle settings, but will ignore rests, ties, and velocity. Mute out will send a signal every time a rest is played. Transpose out will send a pitch signal based on the root key and current transposition amount. Just plug it straight into the transpose input on another instance of step to make sure they transpose simultaneously. This and many other improvements are included in the new Step 1.0.1 update, now available for free for existing owners of Step.